Chinese representatives have left their annual gathering with new goals and policies for the nation. They wrapped up their session of the National People's Congress. And experts say lawmakers have addressed concerns about corruption and national security. NHK World's Ayumi Takahira reports. Right after the session ended, Chinese Premier Li Kuchan emphasized the importance of the corruption crackdown. It is important to run the country according to the rule of law. Everyone is equal under the law, and no one is exempted. Bonji Ohara studies China's diplomacy and security issues. He explains what's meant by the expression rule of law. China uh, is taking the uh, concept of rule by law, not rule of law. Mm. So uh, it, is, it means the uh, Chinese uh, uh, Communist Party uh, has the power to uh, control all of the things, including the uh, laws. If the uh, Chinese leadership uh, succeed to uh, control the un uh, corruption, uh, then uh, they can save the uh, huge amount of money and uh, they can uh, use the, uh, those money for uh, properly. And also the uh, uh, Chinese leadership uh, can get the uh, support from the uh, public. On Sunday, Chinese representatives approved the nation's defense budget of about $145 billion, up 10.1% from last year. Chinese Navy uh, is trying to uh, build the aircraft carrier battle groups. They want uh, the battle groups to uh, deploy the, uh, every uh, sea in the world, especially in the uh, uh, Mediterranean uh, Sea. Uh, to show their uh, military presence uh, against the uh, Middle East, and Europe, and uh, uh, Northern Africa. Ohara says the Chinese are increasing their military presence outside their region. This makes it easier to develop new trade routes connecting the East and the West by land and sea. The countries recognize the uh, Chinese military presence uh, exists in this region, not only the United States. It is the, uh, very important for China because uh, uh, China is developing the uh, One Belt, One World uh, initiative. Uh, and they, uh, China is proposing the uh, countries in Southeast Asia and also uh, South Asia, Middle East, and uh, uh, Central Asia and, uh, of course, the Europe, uh, which is the destination of the uh, new Silk Road. How do you think China's neighbors should respond to this uh, military buildup? Of course, uh, we have to uh, respond uh, to the uh, Chinese aggressive behaviors, uh, provocative actions. Uh, but uh, uh, if the uh, Chinese economic uh, uh, activities will bring the uh, uh, benefit, then uh, uh, those countries will accept the Chinese activities. So the, uh, we have to consider about new framework, but it's not exclude Chinese activities. But, uh, uh, sometimes cooperate with China, uh, sometimes uh, control Chinese activities. Uh, the purpose is the, uh, uh, all of the country uh, can keep the economic uh, profit and develop the economy uh, in this region. That was Bonji Ohara of the Tokyo Foundation on China's National Congress.